Hello to everyone joining us from Sydney, New South Wales, Australia, the UK and elsewhere. Welcome to this Australia UK Chamber webinar held in partnership with the New South Wales Government on opportunities in the UK's low carbon economy, part of our Access UK series focused on supporting New South Wales and Australian companies to get up to speed and access new and emerging opportunities in the UK market. I'm Catherine, CEO of the Chamber. Thank you so much for joining us. The energy transition is one of the big challenges which our planet and economies face in the decade ahead, and the UK is one of the leading players in this regard. In 2019, the UK became the first major economy to set a net zero target by 2050. This ambitious target on emissions reduction is going to require a multifaceted approach from policymakers and industry on how we generate and use energy, how we achieve the right mix of energy technologies, how we consume resources, and how we do all of this in a smart, scalable and cost effective way. Later this year, the UK will host COP26, the most significant climate summit since Paris in 2015. And the UK's presidency of the summit has put climate change front and center for the government's priorities with more announcements and commitments expected in the year ahead. It's a hugely challenging and dynamic landscape here in the UK. And here to walk us through it with an introduction to the UK's energy sector and the changes taking place, as well as a case study on how to enter the UK and European markets from Australia, are our two speakers, Randolph Brazier, Director of Innovation and Electric Electricity Systems for the UK's Energy Networks Association, and Darren Shippard, CEO for Aussie company Carbon Track, which, is, which has expanded its business to the UK and is doing great things in this part of the world. Joining them in conversation will be Kira Smith, New South Wales Trade and Investment Commissioner based here in London. A big welcome and thanks to our speakers, Randolph and Darren, and to our partner, Kira. So we're gonna jump straight in and hear from Randolph of the UK's Energy Networks Association first. Hi, Randolph. Hi, Catherine. Based in London, but as you'll hear, originally an Aussie, Randolph is Director of Innovation and Electricity Systems at ENA, and he has over a decade of experience in the electricity and energy sector in the UK, Europe, and Australia. He leads teams looking at digitalization, engineering, future networks, innovation, low carbon technologies, and resilience, a big agenda. And he's responsible for coordinating and delivering a broad range of strategic initiatives, including how networks can help to deliver net zero. Really excited to have you with us, Randolph and looking forward to hearing from you. 